All right, Doomers, let's get into it. It's May 18th. Please like and subscribe, and welcome back to the broadcast. There is a PayPal donation link below. Real easy. You can put in your card and help contribute to this channel. So apparently Shell admits that the 1.5C goal means immediate end to fossil fuel growth. They're telling us that we need to immediately end, you know, fossil fuel production. I just repeated that because it's incompatible with the 1.5C goal. All right, but too late. World will breach 1.5C by 2027 scientists. No one cares about scientists. They're not the Kardashians. UN agency says El Nino and human-induced climate change can combine and push ter temperatures into uncharted territory. Here's that famous picture by Angelos. I can't pronounce his last name. Very famous image. And we're going to cross the threshold. And we know that 1.5C means... Means... It's incompatible with the way we do things now, which means there's going to be supply chain shortages, crop failure, on and on. Furthermore, it worsened Asia's April heat wave by 2 degrees Celsius. Insane. In Bangladesh, raised many parts by 2C last month. I mean, just soaring, and it's not even 2027 yet. Now... Again, here repeated as well, there's a 66% chance we'll pass 1.5C between now and 2027. We should just up that, you know, to 100. Are we just going to load the revolver halfway or no? And furthermore, it's made 30 times more likely because of climate change. Scientists say. Let me see. Yeah, people cool it off. Right, it's just too hot. Um, went up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Not comfortable. We can't do it. The warnings are here, but Kerry's challenging the oil industry to prove its promised tech rescue for climate wrecking emissions. This old fella thinks that we can talk, he's talking up technological breakthroughs. Say the world will allow to drill and burn fossil fuels without global warming. Is this not a fantasy, complete insanity, or what? They have to prove it. Okay. I mean, I can't believe we're coming up with these th I can't believe we're saying these things. Okay. Pure insanity. Suicidal. EPA finally wakes up with stiff new rules. They've hit full throttle. A slew of anti-pollution from toxic water to planet heating emissions has been issued by the agency belatedly flexing its muscles there's new anti-pollution rules blah 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 the measure will says wipe out more than 600 million tons of carbon emissions over the next two decades about double what the entire uk emits each year but even this wasn't the biggest climate reduction in recent weeks in april new standards for cars and trucks will eliminate expected 9 billion tons by the midpoint of the century i mean is this just lunacy. What about India? What about China? Yeah, right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all blah, blah. A lot of people are moving to Duluth. This is where I would go if things didn't work out. I know it gets um, really cold, like minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But um, the air smells cleaner. Water is some of the best in the world. It's just pristine it's beautiful a 38 year old jenkins said i wonder if she, their jenkins family has only grown more people the new oil buffalo northern state uh, high quality and cheap housing and stock fresh water is the new oil and there are climate optimists out there right okay Pretty disastrous week. Um, quarter of a million of Somalians f flee flooded homes. More floods. Food crisis in East Africa. One person dies of hunger every 28 seconds between now and then. 
and rising food inflation okay there's just too much we're makes rare wheat imports from Europe I mean even the comments on this uh, report says um, you know we know all know where this is going faithful readers of climate economy know where this is all headed yes we do though nowhere is safe new computational tools finds hot spots where compounding environmental and economic risks converge so Here's a map of places that are going to be double hit by climate and economic crises. A computational tool developed by researchers at MIT, Joint Program on the Science and Policy of Global Change, pinpoints specific counties within the U.S. that are particularly vulnerable to economic stress resulting from a transition from fossil fuels to low-carbon energy sources. In fact, everyone... You know, because of aerosol masking. Where you at, aerosol? When you coming down? As the risk to natural managed resources and economies that depend on them become more complex, interdependent, and compound, and compounding amid rapid environmental and societal changes, that they require more human and computational sources to understand and act upon. The stress platform provides decision makers. Who are they? With an efficient way to combine and analyze data on those risks. Okie dokie. Well, pretty bad. Uh, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Kentucky, I mean, Ohio. Not good. And I'm right smack dab in the middle of Ohio in like the worst area. I knew it. I feel it. When I drive around, I'm like, ugh, the amount of just low income housing and it's not good apparently we find radioactive heat source inside mars they figure out how thick martian crust is it turns out between 26 and 35 miles thick however that much is in kilometers i don't know but you figure that out and while you do new york city is sinking under the weight of its buildings because the skyscrapers are too heavy. Published in the journal Earth's Future. What a dilemma. I guess the Avengers will have to find somewhere else to set up shop. And save the planet for the 33rd time. 1 to 2 millimeters per year due to the weight of its high-rise building. So by 2030 it'll be, what, like 12 millimeters downward into the ground all right, while well, we got tr trouble brewing in the Pacific Northwest and everywhere heat wave shatters records, wildfires burning out of control, Canada has asked other asked for help to come take out excessive, I mean, like over 1,800 square miles of fires burning out of control. I'm not going to read all this, but technical difficulties. Alarming finding emissions of banned ozone chemicals on the rise, despite all these claims about reducing emissions and capturing carbon and blah blah but in fact an uptrend emissions of five ozone depleting substances from 2010 to 2020 despite their production for for most applications being prohibited by the montreal protocol the release of these five chloral fluoral carbons partially stems from leakage during the production of ozone friendly alternatives so we burned them while we were trying to switch, and we burned them a lot. All right, let's get to, back to the economy. Let's get back to people. This is from Visual Capitalist, Visualizing American Workforce as 100 people. And so you got this cool little cute graphic of people in different industries and how much of, uh, how much of the population they, you know, they make up. And you can see custodial, transportation, mechanics, lots of office and admin people slaving away. And the most common jobs in the U.S., here we are, office and admin people, as you predicted, receptionists, clerks, customer service secretaries, right now clocked in, wasting their lives. I'm in food, number five, lots of people, next to sales, transport, and health. And how much money do they make? 
Not as much as we should, because it all went to the billionaires. Crony, unfettered capitalism wrecked it. Even scientists not even making that much, we should pay them the highest. And scientists only account for, let me just go up here, one, one people out of a hundred. And how much do people in the food industry make on average? 32000 Minus taxes? Nothing. Next to a whole bunch of other people. Look at our debt, though. Look at the debt. How is this sustainable? Where does this lead? Look at our debt to D GDP ratio. Where does this go? Hmm? Likely recession by next year. It's toast, and Americans don't even care as default looms. Americans yawn because it's been one crisis after another. Mass shooting in Allen and in Cleveland, Texas. First ever indictment of a former president, followed by a sex abuse verdict. Followed by an indictment indictment of a sitting congressman. Fighter jet shoots down UFO. War in Ukraine. Threats in Asia. Floods of migrants crossing the border. Actual floods in California. It just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. This year is like, wait. Just wait, there's more. All right, and we can't figure it out. And I don't trust these boomers. I don't trust these guys to get it together. Either of them. He's a Sagittarius, and they're just awful. Avoid them. They act sensitive, but they're really not well-integrated people. The big squeeze housing market is so unaffordable that builders have no choice but to build smaller homes. Fundamentally, every major housing market in the country is overpriced right now, says a guy at John Burns Research and Counseling. National home prices up over 40%. Yeah, right. How is anybody supposed to afford a house on, on these sorts of incomes? Most of the population. I mean, you have to be a dual household income you know, generating family and then just go into debt. So they're building smaller homes. Just set up a cardboard box and play some nice music. That's all you got. This has been your May 18th, 2023 Climate News World Update from your truly the Doom Wizard. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Again, your donations keep this channel going. It is only sustainable by your support. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later.